Hey, hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. And of course, I am Char. And today I have some gifts to show you guys. So here we are. And these are unexpected gifts that um, someone on YouTube reached out to me. And, and you know what? I haven't talked to her about making a video, so I'm not going to mention her name just yet. But if she comes back and says it's cool, it's fine. Or if she watches the video and then I'll just link her information down below. But she's another YouTuber and she mentioned that um, she wasn't, that she was touched by my um, one with the issue of blood video. And that just goes to show y'all like you never know who's watching at any given time. And this is why you be led by the Lord to do something because at first, I've been meaning to do that video for a minute, but I do believe it was all God's will and purpose to do it when I did because of the circumstance with my sister. But she reached out to me and asked would I mind receiving this gift. And I said, who would say no to that? Like, It's such a blessing. It's one of those things that financially, I don't think I ever would have been comfortable enough to make this purchase for myself. And she mentioned that someone gifted her another one, so she had an extra one from a prior year. And, I, you know, I'm not picky. Y'all know I shop at the Goodwill. I prefer that because I actually, uh, my money goes further. So I'm, I'm no stranger to receiving gifts or whatever things that aren't necessarily new. But I can assure you this is in a excellent condition. Um, the only thing she had to do was wipe out her name. And even that, I'm just like, whatever. I'm just so grateful and so overwhelmed with joy because I literally said, Lord, I want to sit down. I want to be still and I need, and I want to occupy myself in the word of God. And y'all know that all my other journal Bibles are pretty much the same old, same old, like with the Inspire. It has pictures to color, which are good for my anxiety. But then I switched to um, getting the journal, the word Bibles because they have lines. And then I realized, you know what? I think I'm growing. I didn't think I was ever get to this point where I could say I need more space, which is why I end up um, trying to journal out into a notebook. And then she hit me up with this. I was just like, God, you work mighty fast. But anyway, here we are, loves. I was gifted this big, beautiful bad boy here. This is the illustrating Bible. And y'all, pictures do no justice. Like, I've been waiting all week, like, yes, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And y'all, I am just so <laughs> blown away at the size. Because I've seen a lot of people post and they're um, drawing and they're coloring and stuff. And they used to say things like, I can't take it to church, it's too big. And I'm like, you know, what Bible could be too big for church? But I can tell you, this feels like <laughs> top secret <laughs> documents or something. Like, this is a pretty big bad boy. But do you see this? Like, all this space and opportunity. Like, I got so many ideas and things I want to do, y'all. And I cannot wait. To God be the glory. Of course, I had to share this gift with y'all. I am, I almost want to just switch gears right quick because y'all, y'all know I'm studying in the Old Testament. I almost want to come in here, but I did say if I ever got something like this, I will do like, um, heavy journaling, which means like I will try to start doing some paintings, some watercolors, the works, and just really just let loose in here. And I have nothing but space and opportunity to do so because, like I told y'all, I'm not a fan of going over the words. But this right here is more than enough space to do whatever it is I want to do for a given day. So I can still, matter of fact, I can read in my other Bible and then come in here and journal based off what I read, which what most people say they do anyway because the writing's too small. But y'all know I do wear glasses, but they're supposed to be for reading. But this. I must be nearsighted because this doesn't uh, bother me. I can literally read this. This is not too small for me. I know some of y'all looking like, what in the world? I believe the font is 8 point, but I'm used to that. Most of the Bibles I have is 8 or 8.5. So that doesn't bother me at all. I, I can definitely read this. And I just feel like the way this is made makes reading even that more and more interesting. So 
I'm so excited. I know y'all like, what in the world? It's just the Bible. But listen, y'all know how I feel about my Bibles. I thank God for that. And not only did she give me that, another answered prayer. I was telling my husband, I said, you know what? I feel so bad because I haven't written any of his sermons down since we've been in the church. I do the Bible journal. I'm sorry, the Bible prayer line. I write them down faithfully. But since we've been in church, I've been so excited and so into, you know, <laughs> <laughs> into just him seeing him in front of people that I just be in awe. And I said to myself the other day, I said, I got to start writing these sermons down. And she got me this. She got me church notes. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like, wow. It has scriptures on the bottom. It has the songs and hymns, whatever was sung, the verse, key points, notes, whether well, it came from Testament, what like this is so me, it doesn't even make any sense. Like this is God sent and I'm so excited and so happy. And let me zoom in. I'm so sorry. I know that's like so far away, but let me come in and show you guys so you guys can actually see. This is awesome. This is so awesome. And it's more than big enough because you know you only have services. Um, well, typically once a week is average. But, you know, we do only have service on second and fourth Sunday. So this is more than enough. I just thank God. I don't know what else to say. But <laughs> to God be the glory. And then not only that, she also sneaked this in here. Well, I'm not saying sneak, but, you know, it was no mention of it. But this is, as you can see, this is a calendar. And y'all know, OMG, I just started this thing, right? Um, where's my paper? I just started this thing where I come in and I put what I need to do, what I should do, what I would like to do in here. And I said to myself, it would be nice to kind of, you know, map all my productive things I've done, even if it's here or not here. And look at this. I cannot wait to open this. I'm going to open it right now. Right while y'all watching. I'm sorry. I'm just impatient like that. Just like the box. Like I did say I was going to do an opening on the box. But couldn't wait y'all. I got it because my mail goes to my mom's. And I went and got it. I opened it right on up. I said I got to see this. And let me open this up right quick. Come on. This is awesome. Look at that. Flat. Can fit on my desk. I can put it on top of my printer. Wow. I'm just in awe. God's blowing my mind. It's just January. I, I just, what's next, Lord? <laughs> like I got a phone. I got a ring light. Y'all, I'm actually filming at night. This is how awesome this is. Like y'all don't understand like the whole trying to chase the daylight time and stuff. It's just been, oh, but I am so grateful. And I thank God and y'all, I think I'm going to start reading. Matter of fact, when my husband comes home, I'm going to get his notes and put previous notes in here because I want to keep a record of every service that we have. And we're going to have a service um, this Sunday. And he's doing a Q&A, which I plan on going live because I want you guys to be there too. And now that we both got a tripod, I think that'll be pretty awesome if I just go live. But, y'all, yeah, I'm just, my heart is filled. I'm just sitting here and I'm just excited and I cannot wait to spend time in the Lord. Y'all know my heart. Y'all know what I love doing. And truth be told, I don't watch TV like that. Um, obviously, I get on social media because I try to comment um, when y'all comment to be respectful. But other than that, I'm reading my Bible. I'm reading devotion. I'm, I'm spending time journaling. I'm raising my kids. And I just want to... Um, continue to do those things and just be the best godly woman I can be. And nothing says that better than space and opportunity to spend time in the word. So I just want to come talk to y'all and bless y'all and let y'all know that little expect the unexpected. Let God bless you. Be obedient. Do what you're supposed to do and do not be hesitant because y'all know I'm late with my videos, but to God be the glory. I'm here. <laughs> I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.